legal protection of trademarks. In order to distinguish between what belongs to me and what belongs to others, mankind has used trademarks since prehistoric times. In a prehistoric cave painting, you can see that the buffalo's flank has a mark on it. The owner drew it to prevent it from getting stolen. In ancient Egyptian relics, traces of the quarry mark and stonemason sign still exist. They provide information as to the origin of the stone and the name of the stonemason. Entering the Middle Ages, cities developed and commerce and industry thrived. Guilds, which are merchant groups, appeared and merchants belonging to guilds started to draw specific designs onto their products. As specific designs became more popular, people started to imitate them. However, there were no legal measures that could protect the designs in the Middle Ages. Instead, other various methods to protect designs started to appear. In 13th century Italy, watermarks were first used in the process of manufacturing paper. A watermark is a transparent design that can be seen when paper is held up against light. This blind stamp is usually used on covers of printed material or leather products. It's similar to the effect of embossing or intraocular pressure. Nowadays, it's usually used on handbags. Watermarks and blind stamps are manufacturing methods still used today. Like this, ways to protect designs have been handed down and are continuing to this day. Today, trademarks are protected by law. They are protected as intellectual property, as trademark rights. To use a trademark, you must register it at the Patent and Trademark Office. During this process, there are some matters that require attention. First of all, the trademark must not lead to association with the product's raw material. When using common nouns or geographical names, if the word is used without changing the original meaning, then it cannot be registered as a trademark. That is because it will cause confusion to consumers. Also, indistinguishable, simple figures must be avoided. But if a mark was used consistently for a long time, then that is a different matter. Nike's logo was unable to be registered as a trademark at first. As the logo was continuously used, Nike let many people know about their product and was able to finally register their logo as a trademark. It is also important to find out in advance if the trademark you wish to register is not already being used. If there is an identical trademark or a similar trademark, then you can be penalized due to violation of trademark rights, like the case of Apple. When the iPhone was first released, did you know that it wasn't Apple's trademark? The trademark rights to iPhone had belonged to Cisco. Nevertheless, Apple launched their product under the name iPhone in 2007. Cisco filed a lawsuit for infringement of trademark rights against Apple. After numerous negotiations, they came to the agreement that both companies can jointly use the trademark iPhone. The reason companies register trademarks is to protect their products and furthermore protect the rights of the consumers who choose their products. When registering trademarks, thoroughly comparing and considering every little detail possible, like knowing if a trademark has distinctiveness and finding out if there are any similar trademarks is probably the most basic way to protect brand image.